Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. What's up, boss? Hey, bro. How you doing, man? All right, so you 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 with my wife? What's up, boss? That, that's my wife right there. Okay, well. All right, dude, turn the camera on. All right, that's my wife. All right, I don't know what you're digging for, but that's that's my wife right there. Turn the camera on. And I want a divorce, okay? Right. Will you give me a divorce? Will you give me a divorce, please? Turn the camera on, please. Please give me a divorce. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Cheating is the ultimate sign of betrayal. Rather, it's emotional cheating or physical cheating. Cheating is cheating. And sadly, the severity of one's actions are usually not recognized until that person is either exposed or else they've lost everything they've loved due to their actions and infidelity. Welcome back to my channel. This is Lovely Tea TV. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Now, before we uncover the truth behind Adam Levine's drama, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. So the woman who has officially put Adam Levine on blast her name is Sumner Stroh, and she was born on August 10th, 1999, which makes her 23 years old. Sumner also has a degree at the University of Texas, and she's a well-known Instagram model and an OnlyFans creator. She's also very active on TikTok and on YouTube, where she frequently posts a lot of sexy pictures of herself and videos of her trying on clothing hauls. Now, a lot of us grew up on Maroon 5 and especially Adam Levine, and Adam Levine has always kind of had like a holier-than-thou attitude a little bit. He's always been represented in the media as the good guy. So Adam has been married to his wife, Bahati. She's a famous Victoria's Secrets model. And you can see her attending all types of fashion shows and events. And so it was very crazy when Sumner came out talking about this affair. A lot of people on TikTok were absolutely shocked and also devastated. So on September 19, 2022, Summer took to TikTok to air out Adam Levine's Dirty Laundry. According to her, she had an affair with Adam Levine that lasted about a year. She claimed that she was easily manipulated and naive because she was really young. Well, technically, she's still really young. She's only 23. This affair took place when she was 19 years old. She also stated that she was new to the influencer scene. And keep in mind that Adam Levine and um, his wife, Bahati, they've been married since 2014, which means that he was totally being unfaithful the entire time. She went on to say, in essence, I have a relationship with the husband of a Victoria's Secret model. I was young and naive at the time, and sincerely speaking, I feel like I was taken advantage of. I was definitely very easily manipulated because I was not involved in the scene, and, you know, I was new to social media. So before she knew it, they were having a full-blown affair, and so while, you know, having this, you know, continuous affair with Adam, all of a sudden her moral compass kicked in, okay? And she decided to break off the affair because it was starting to compromise her morals and she wasn't feeling good about that. So she completely stopped communicating with him. Well, like any other young girl, you know, like she says, she has these screenshots and she was sharing them with her friends to prove that at one point in time she did have a relationship with the Maroon 5 singer. One of her friends basically betrayed her and wanted to send the screenshots to one of these media outlets and she regrets being careless, but then she went on to show everybody the video of what went down between her and Adam. Essentially, I was having an affair with a man who's married to a Victoria's Secret model. At the time, you know, I was young, I was naive, and I mean, quite frankly, I feel exploited. I wasn't in the scene like I am now, um, so I was definitely very easily manipulated. Maroon 5 is practically elevator music at this point, so I'm sure you know who Adam Levine is. Um, but Adam and I were seeing each other for about a year. After I stopped talking to him over, you know, a period of months, this is uh, how he came back into my life. He said, okay, serious question. I'm having another baby, and if it's a boy, I really uh, want to name it Sumner. 
You okay with that? Dead serious. Um, <laughs> I was like, I'm in hell. Like I have to be in hell at this point. <laughs> I mean, my morals were unknowingly compromised. I was completely manipulated. I'm gonna handle this privately. I never wanted to come forward because obviously I know the implications that come with doing what I do, making money the way I do and being an Instagram model. Um, so being tied to a story like this, it's like, I know the stereotypes. I had sent, um, I had sent some screenshots recklessly to a few friends I thought I trusted and one of them had attempted to sell to a tabloid. Um, so here I am. All right, so you guys just saw that video and of course it gets worse because the main reason why this story is even coming up is because Adam Levine has another baby on the way. He actually has a little boy on the way and Adam Levine basically says that he loves the name Sumner and that he wants to name his baby boy after Sumner and he wants to make sure that she's okay with that. I mean, it's like, what kind of shit is this? It's bad enough you're cheating on your wife with this woman and now you want to name your child after your side chick? Like, who does that? But sadly, it happens more often than not, believe it or not. So Sumner never even replied back to him. And so she ended up blasting him. And of course, this went viral. So folks were dragging Adam Levine. And then the very next day, other women came out and they were basically corroborating everything that Sumner was saying that Adam Levine is a cheat and he's been cheating. There's an Instagram influencer named Marika. There's another Instagram influencer named Allison Rose. And then there was also a yoga instructor. Her name was Alana Zabel. And all of these women were basically detailing their own experiences with Adam Levine and his raunchy DMs and raunchy text messages. So Marika ended up using the hashtag expose Adam Levine. And on Tuesday, and she shared alleged messages between her and Levine in a series of Instagram stories. She even claimed that he sent her a short video of himself and told Marika, I'm now obsessed with you. To which she replied, dude, aren't you like married? LOL. Another woman has come forward exposing Adam Levine. Here he is flirting with her and he sends her a message that says, I'm stupid. Yeah, sending a message, you should distract yourself by f***ing me. Yes, Adam, you are stupid. Now, according to page six, Levine allegedly wrote back, it's a bit complicated. Other alleged messages from Adam Levine said things like, I need to see the booty, holy fucking fuck, your body is absurd, watching your ass jiggle on that table will permanently scar me, otherwise I'm amazing, I'll do anything for it, I'd buy it a steak dinner and whisper sweet nothings in it. Child, Adam Levine is a freak, he's talking about doing all this to her ass, not to her face, not in her ear, he wants to whisper sweet nothings in her ass. Okay, sir, we see you. <laughs> so now the next woman who came out is a woman named Allison Rosef, but she goes by Allison Rose on social media. And basically she did a green screen TikTok where she showed screenshots of her conversation with Adam Levine. And she also claimed that she had a lot more messages, but she chose not to share them because they were really inappropriate and she did not feel comfortable posting everything. Um, I have a lot more that was said that was like not appropriate. Um, I just didn't feel comfortable posting everything and I never even wanted to post any of this. Just like that other girl said, like the only way this would have ever came out is if somebody ever posted it. Um, a lot of my friends knew and they were shocked, um, but I'm really happy and I have a really great life now. So, you know, just, I guess if any other girls have experienced this with him, which I'm sure they have, I just, Think they should post it because i feel really bad for his wife and nobody deserves it so she said a lot of her friends knew and they were also shocked when she told them that she was messing with adam levine because adam levine is married she also went on to say i feel really bad for his wife nobody deserves this girl bye so now, inspired by these young women who have come out against Adam Levine, his former yoga instructor, who is 43 years old, also decided to come out and tell her story as well. Now, Alana Zabel, she was Adam Levine's yoga instructor from 2007 to 2010. Now, granted, this was before he married his wife, Bahati, but 
Adam was not a single man at the time. At that time, he was dating Rebecca Genos, and they had met in 2006, and they ended up dating from 2006 till 2009. So this man has had a history of inappropriate behavior towards women for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what she said. She says, long overdue, hashtag expose Adam Levine. She says, I was his yoga instructor for a few years from 2007 through 2009. He often said that he told his friends that his yoga teacher had the best ass in town and it was cute. One day he texts me saying, I want to spend my day with you naked. I was in the bathtub and my jealous ex saw it and went into a rage. I showed my ex that I was sure that it wasn't meant for me, but for Adam's then girlfriend, Becky, and that it had to be a mistake. I text Adam to ask him if that was the case. Adam didn't reply and my ex became violent and breaking my wrist. Massive life changing, destructive moment. And when I told Adam, he ignored it. He never apologized. He removed me from the upcoming tour and iced me out during one of the most devastating times in my life. So that is what Alana had to say, and that situation is simply heartbreaking. Domestic violence is never okay, even if you suspect that your, you know, your lover, your girlfriend, your boyfriend is cheating. It is not your place to put hands on somebody. And the fact that Alana wasn't even cheating with him, Adam was simply trying to flirt with her, and she got into this huge, massive, you know, domestic violence dispute with her boyfriend is insane. And the fact that he never apologized, he didn't have any type of empathy towards her, and simply just, you know, iced her out to the point where he didn't go to her anymore. I can only imagine how she felt. So this is why she's speaking now to let people know that this is the real Adam Levine. So now in the light of all these allegations, Adam Levine finally spoke out yesterday. He sent a statement to TMZ and he said this, I use poor judgment in speaking with anyone other than my wife in any kind of flirtatious manner. I did not have an affair. Nevertheless, I crossed the line during a regrettable period in my life. In certain instances, it became inappropriate and I have addressed and taken proactive steps to remedy this with my family. My wife and my family is all I care about in the world. To be this naive and stupid enough to risk the only thing that truly matters to me is the greatest mistake I could ever make. So that is what Adam Levine had to say for himself. So now I got some extra tea for y'all. One of my tea sippers, Daniel, shout out to him. He slid in my DMs this morning and he sent me a video from this woman named Muwak. And basically she's saying that not only is Adam cheating, but Bahati is cheating as well. And they basically have an open relationship. So she's spilling some tea. Again, this is all alleged. I don't know who this woman is, but y'all go ahead and sip on this. Okay, here is the tea. So I already knew Adam Levine was cheating in 2018 because my Bahati was in my ex's DMs. Um, and he was telling me as if it was already common knowledge that he was cheating. She's, she cheats. They both cheat. Like, it's like a thing. So I was under the impression that it was an open relationship. And this was common knowledge. But apparently nobody knew any of this. Before anyone asks, no, I don't have any DMs. I'm not with my ex anymore. They're all on his phone. And I didn't even know who Bahati was at the time. My ex told me that she was totally okay with it. Like... They're not in an open relationship, but that she knows, and she's doing the exact same thing. Allegedly. Take everything I say with a grain of salt, because, like, I can't prove myself, but, you guys, I saw messages. So, for legal reasons, this is just for entertainment. <laughs> So anyways, I leave all of this up to you guys. I leave the question with you all. How do you guys feel about this case? Do you feel like all of these women are victims? Or do you feel like some of them were definitely chasing fame and it didn't work out? Also, how do you guys feel about Adam Levine and his cheating ways? You know, we've covered a lot of tea today, so let me know how you guys feel about this. I really, really feel bad for the yoga instructor. My heart definitely goes out to her. She did not deserve that because of Adam Levine. I think that is trash. So once again, let me know your thoughts on this situation. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below before you leave the video. Make sure you hit the bell to get notified. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Feel free to share the video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. And I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.